Hey there, today I am making chili rellenos. Of course, keto. I think all chili rellenos are keto unless they bread them. It's typically a dish you can order in a Mexican restaurant and know that there aren't gonna be too many carbs in it. Organic ground turkey breast, and I just sauteed it. I didn't even take garlic or anything in it because I had some salsa that was fresh and it was a green chili salsa. I just threw that in there. So that makes it a lot easier than cutting onions and garlic and seasoning. So that's a tip for you. And then usually after I stuff them and put them in the pan, I make a ranchero sauce from scratch with canned tomatoes and a bunch of spices and onions and garlic. But today I'm just gonna pour a fire roasted red tomato salsa that I got at Lazy Acres that's fresh. So I'm just gonna throw that over it. So it's gonna make making chili ramos a lot easier. Poblano chilies in your pan and put them under the broiler for like five minutes each side. And then they're gonna get all like nasty on the outside. So you're gonna to wanna to peel all the skin off. Then you're gonna to wanna to open them up and take all of the seeds out of them. And when you open them up, you just wanna open from the top so that you can still stuff them. I'm gonna go do that and be right back. Oh, this is what they look like when they're done. They're just kind of a mess, <laughs> but the skin's off, the seeds are out, and they're ready to be stuffed. I'm just gonna grab my turkey breast that I already cooked, and I'm gonna fill it pretty full because I have a lot of it. <laughs> you can do these with chicken, chopped chunks of chicken, shredded chicken, pork, beef. You can, my, my girlfriend, she makes them with just um, zucchini and onions and peppers, so they're vegetarian. I like a pretty meaty one. And I always make four of them because if you're gonna go through all the time to do all this, you might as well get a couple meals out of it. So I'm just stuffing them with as much as I can get in there. I want to save a little bit of room for the cheese, because I am a cheese holic. And then we're just going to put them in the oven. I have it preheated at 350 degrees, and they'll go in there for like 30 minutes. And they can just be open. They don't have to be closed. You know, for a situation like this where I have so much meat, I'll just leave them open. So here they are, all stuffed. And I love these tins just because I hate pyro. I have to clean it, and it's a nightmare. And we're quarantined at home. I've been cooking like a crazy woman. So anything to make my life easier. And then you just shove the cheese on top. I'm gonna put more in later. So I'll just put a little bit on here so that it can mix in with the meat. But I don't want too much because it'll just ooze out all over and just end up in the bottom of the pan. Now for my salsa. Just gonna dump it right on top of there. You just put it right over them. Just right on top of them. And this has all the spices and the garlic and the onions and the peppers and it's just full of flavor. Why should I take the time to make it when Lazy Acres made it for like five bucks, <laughs> right? into the 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And then I'll take them out and I'll put a little more cheese on top and put them in for five more minutes and they'll be ready to go. I can serve them with sour cream or avocados on top or both. Here they are. They just need sour cream and avocado. Thanks so much for watching.